Hi there, my name is Rob Wall and I am based in central London. I have the privilege of partnering with and working for Pastor Agu on a couple of projects at the moment. I'm currently in Spain actually with my family and I just want to come and give you a granular thought around racism in the UK and, and my thought is this, we need to irrigate our ignorance particularly as white people. I think oftentimes we can become so comfortable and to a degree complacent in what we know. And when we're so comfortable in what we know, we can stand quite assured that our way is the way. When in fact, if we experience and expose ourselves to situations and scenarios and spaces and places that we weren't previously privy to, we'll realize that we don't have all the answers, that other people can do things in a different way, but sometimes it's the better way. As a predominantly white preacher that speaks in black Pentecostal churches, I realise that there will be elements of a service that my background hasn't prepared me for, whether it's an emphasis on a particular area of ministry, whether it's the length of a service, whether it's the style of a song. It really doesn't matter. I'm called in that moment to humble myself and try and get into a posture of teachability and I think a lot of us, particularly white people over the last month or so, we've been trying to give language to situations and circumstances and scenarios that we really don't have adequate information or experience of. And it's sometimes got us into a little bit of trouble. And I want to apologize for that because we want to stand with people. We want to understand people's pain. And oftentimes we come short and I think oftentimes it's just to do with ignorance whether conscious or unconscious it's still there it's still an issue and it's something that we need to address and firstly own I believe and so when I realized that I was going to be a minority in a lot of these places that I preached I had to get well versed in the history and the background and the culture and the systems and the structures that can often oppress, that can often um, create unbalanced lack of opportunity and equilibrium for people that are different to me. And when I did that, I started to not only understand, but I started to appreciate the lives that are so different to mine the lives that are lived with such integrity, the lives that are lived with such passion, the lives that are lived with such honor. And I think for us to get to a place where the whole of society thrives, we need to take that posture of humility. We need to use our head to get informed and intentionally well-versed in the things that we're not aware of. And, and we need to not just use our feet or our head but we also need to use our heart and just repent in the areas that we have contributed to the pain of others it might not be an extreme example like we've seen on the tv and media outlets over the last month or so but we've all got attitudes we've all got biases unconscious biases we've all got um examples where we've been in situations and scenarios where we could have spoken out and spoken up but we decided to step back and to sit down and i think all those moments of indifference or moments of fear have contributed to where we find ourselves and so i believe that i'm by no means a doom and gloom prophet i, I want to be part of the answer i don't want to hurl um accusations at a church the bride of christ she is Jesus' treasure, he, he died for her. And so I want to just suggest sensitively that if we as the church can commit to irrigating our ignorance, intentionally informing ourselves and listening to the hearts of others, then we'll not only have the head knowledge that helps us to stand alongside people and understand their pain to an extent, it's not us that's in their position, but we can draw alongside them and, and be prepared to have a change of heart because it all begins in the heart out of the heart the mouth speaks our hearts are the gate by which everything comes in and out um, and so I pray that for those that have been offended that the Lord would bless you that he would heal you and for those that have perhaps unintentionally perpetrated pain at whatever level whatever degree of dimension you would seek God's heart and you would 
intentionally aim to irrigate your ignorance. And I believe if we do that, it's only the first step, but if we do that, we'll start to see change. Change in our churches, change in our cell groups, changes in our services, changes in our um, ecumenism, changes in cross-pollination so that we're gleaning and partnering with one another. Businesses coming together from different races and socioeconomic backgrounds offering legs up but also offering a hand down there's just so much that can be achieved if we irrigate our ignorance so so that's my message for for the church for the uk from my limited exposure but unique in the sense i'm coming at it from someone that spends a lot of time in the black community but comes predominantly from the the white community lots of love to you